Welcome to Production Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the latest version of Isotope's popular creative vocal toolkit, Vocal Synth 2. So what's new? Well, we have a redesigned UI with this funky new display in the center that combines both metering and volume level controls, which is quite nice. So modules at the top here got BioVox on, and you can see, pull this down, that's the level for that. Let's load a couple more modules. Very simple, very nice, very elegant. Each module has expanded controls, which is nice as well. So we can properly uh, geek out in these to get some really weird and wonderful sounds. Got a new module here, BioVox, and two new effects at the bottom here, Chorus and Ring Mod. Got this new page that shows users how to set up VocalSynth 2 in a handful of different modes. For this video, I have vocal synth in MIDI mode, meaning that I can control the vocal line with a MIDI keyboard. So once you've followed the instructions here, click on the mode, click accept, and you're set up. Behind this new central meter control section here, we have NXY pads. You can load two controls from whatever you see here in the UI, and uh, yeah, you can just go crazy with this. So let's put this thing to work. As I said, I've got it in MIDI mode. I've already played in some MIDI down here on a MIDI track and I'll play through a section of this song. I'll flick through the different modes so you can hear these in action. And then we'll go around again and we'll have a play with some of these effects and see if we can get something interesting going. Vocoder. Compuvox. Talk box. Let me Okay, right, as you probably saw there, you can actually load more than one module at once, which is nice. So let's go for these two. I should put buy box in as well. And we can go into the extended uh, controls here and we can pan things around so let's go for recoder pan that left pan this right back to the main page we can adjust the volume sounds quite nice uh, let's have a little listen to the vocal before vocal synth Very different. Now we can use the mix blend control here. If you want to put back some of the original. Let's put some effects on this. Chorus. Delay. Play the timing. Very interesting indeed. Now let's put all the modules in and see what else we can do with this. So you could just lose hours in this plugin. It's it's really nice creative tool this. Something like this. Volume up. Let's bring the original vocal in. That's really nice. I like that. Got a little bit of everything going. Without. Stand back, I'm about to be loved. Yeah, I like it with. Nice job, Vocal Synth. So, what's my final thoughts on Vocal Synth 2? Well, I think this is a fantastic update. Vocal Synth version 1 was a good product, but this is just perfection in my opinion. Now, a couple of years ago, I did a review of Vocal Synth 1, and uh, in that review, I discovered uh, something a little bit irritating, and it was in this area pitch. 
And I notice that when you set your own key, something like this, let's go for D major, and then you flick through presets, the key wouldn't stay constant. It would change with the presets. Now, luckily, that has been fixed. So thank you very much, Isotope. Any negatives? Well, to be honest, I can't find any. Uh, maybe it's a little bit overpriced for what it is, at around $200. That said, though, if you are in the market for a well-sorted creative vocal synth engine that sounds absolutely bonkers, uh, then look no further. It's worth $200 all day long. Download the demo of this from the Isotope website, have a little play with it, and let us know your thoughts on Vocal Synth 2 in the comments below. Hope you guys got something from this. I'm Dan from Production Expert, and I'll see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.